Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to import a CSV file into SQL Server table using C Sharp or SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can import a CSV file into the SQL Server using C Sharp.net. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got a CSV file emails.csv file. So let me show you the file. So this is a comma separated file. And the first line of this particular file contains the header information like ID, first name, last name, email and gender. And I think it contains 1000 records. Yeah. So I want to import this particular file into a SQL Server table. So in my SQL Server 2019 instance on the work database, I got a table email table. And as of now, this table is empty. And the columns in this particular table are also similar to the name of columns whatever are in the csv file like id first name last name email gender they are exactly same now what i want to do i want to import this particular csv file into the sql server table so as of now the sql server table is empty so i have already prepared a code in the csharp.net which can actually import any csv file into any sql server table okay you just need to pass only the csv file name and of course you need to define the server name and the database name and then you just need to give the SQL Server table name. That's the only two input that you need to provide. And the csharp.net code can load the data for the CSV file. So I think this particular code can be used to import just one file. And for example, if you have multiple files, for example, if you have 100 files or 50 files and the schema of all files is different, and if you already have the SQL Server tables pre-created in the database, then I think you can use this code to import 100 tables into the SQL Server table. For example, if you just want to look through a, a folder, then you can just look through the folder and can get all the file information from the folder and can just import all the files into the SQL Server table. So maybe in the next video, I can show you that particular thing as well. But for now, this particular code can import just one file. You just need to pass the path of the CSV file and the SQL Server table to this particular code. So let me just show you what I'm doing here that I'm just passing the location of the CSV file that I want to import and then this is the function that is actually reading the data from the CSV file and importing the data into the data table CSV data okay so this is the function so what we are doing here we have defining a data table here and then using a text field parser class and now the delimiter of the file is comma so we have defined the comma here and we have set this has fields and closed in quotes so we have set it to true in our case, the fields are not enclosed into the codes, but in case the fields will be enclosed in the code, then this will work. And now we are just simply reading all the fields into this particular array, looping through all the columns and creating a particular row. And then we are just looping through all the data as well, all the rows. Okay. In the end, we are just returning the data table to this particular location. Okay. Once this data table has been written, then we are just simply inserting this data table to the SQL Server table. So we have created a SQL connection here. So this is my SQL Server instance name. This is my database name and we are using the Windows authentication connection here. Now we are using a SQL bulk copy class. Our destination table name is email, which you can see here. And then we are just looping through all the columns in the CSV data and then we are just mapping all the columns with a SQL Server table. So for example, if your columns in the SQL Server table and CSV file are not the same, then you need to define the mapping here. But in my case, the header information of the CSV file like ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and uh, the columns in the SQL Server table are exactly same. So that's why we are mapping them dynamically in this particular line. And because of this, we can just load multiple files even maybe 100 or 1000 files so we can just pass the sql server table name along with the data table name so we can make another parameter here and we can just pass the name of the sql server table to this location okay while calling this particular function so i think this is a very straightforward code so let me just execute this particular code and it should import the data from the csv file into the sql server table so the code ran fine and let me check the data in the email table so you can see that 1000 records have been imported to the sql server table so i think this is good and uh, i will share this code with you so that you can use it in your environment as well 
in case if you want to use this particular code in the SSIS package as well then you can use it in the script task as well yeah so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much